y'all what's up what's up it's your girl here mj mia welcome to the channel so yes i wanted to get on here and talk about what ebony k williams has said um she said it recently on the revolt tv um what's it called it's the revolt tv she co-hosts um the state of the culture so um yeah it's something that she said and it doesn't sit too well with me um i get what she's saying i understand that but I'm going to play it for you, and then we're going to chat about it. Y'all hear it. The reality that needs to be said out loud is that as black men age, their desirability increases. Thus, their optionality of women is always expanding. And the exact opposite is true for black women. Mm -hmm. As we age, it doesn't matter how much money we accumulate, our degrees or professional accolades, the reality is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after if that's what they choose because the number of college-educated black men is so low when compared to black college-educated women that we're all going to be targeting the same small pool of men. And as we heard today, on most campuses, there's like seven black women students for every one black man student. Y'all do the math. So here's my advice. If you are a young black woman in college and you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family, I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because a handful of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them too. Y'all, that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older. And by the time you reach my age, 40, you will be faced with different choices relating to life partnership and motherhood. Now, I'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option, but it's one that comes with its own consequences. And our women deserve to know on the front end of their decision making instead of on the back half. All right. So y'all just heard it. Um, I'm going to put a link down in the description box so you guys can go read it for yourself. But um, yeah, uh, me personally, I wasn't going to talk about it. But when I heard her said that you should be trying to get married after college um or in your 20s and your 30s and i also heard some other older men on here saying this too <sighs> i hate this conversation um i'm gonna be honest with you i really do hate this conversation um it 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 puts fear in a lot of women that they're gonna be alone and it makes it makes them scared that they're not gonna have kids or they're not gonna get a husband by a certain time and you know we got to be careful how the way we talk about this, especially to the younger women, because we don't want them to just go run and have a baby. Because we seem to see that this is an issue where the black women, the focus is, is to go get the baby. And that's that. You know, um, they'll think about the marriage later on. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I don't want the, you know, young ladies or, or myself to be falling into the trap of, having a baby because you, you're running you're rushing to go have a baby case in point summer walker summer walker is a very good example of this um she has even bragged about having three baby daddies so let me read something to you so this is it right here on the neighborhood talk is a uh, carisha please summer um she i guess she was over there talk, i guess she was over there having a conversation I, i'm guessing i don't know i don't watch the show but down here in the comment area, it says, okay, it looks like Summer Walker is in Young Miami's next guest on Carisha Please Talk. I think they were just talking about something else. But there was something interesting down here, she said. She said, how many igas is somebody, you know, commented underneath Hollywood, I mean, Neighborhood Talk. And they said, how many igas you gonna let you, gonna, you gonna let get you pregnant? So she got 71 likes and two previous replies. One of them happened to reply back to her, which was Summer Walker herself. She said, as many as I want. Rich people can do what they want because they can afford it. Stop counting my puss. So I, 
trying to look for the other video, but there was another video where he basically was stating about, yeah, she she don't care about having a green baby doll. This is something that is drilled into the young black woman's head because we feel that if we don't have our kids now, we're going to be alone. And a lot of them, I, but I understand Ebony K. Williams, you know, she, she said, you know, to have, to get married, to go find a soulmate or whatever and then have the baby. But that's not happening. You know, matter of fact, it's, it's more women now that is glorifying gender reveals versus wedding um, cakes. I, I see more gender reveals than wedding cakes. So let me also share this video with you. There's another video I want to share with you guys. 32.9 of the mothers died in the United States with black mothers holding the highest rank for mortality at close to 70%. This is almost three times higher than that of white women. Likewise, the number of black babies being born to single mothers has skyrocketed since the 90s, revealing marriage to be a thing of the past, it seems. So not only are single black mothers dying at alarming rates while giving birth or due to post-birth complications, the majority of women that do survive are bringing babies into households where they are responsible for caring for them around the clock with little to no help from the father of these children. Just the other day, I ran across a TikTok where a pregnant woman was expressing that she was attempting to detach from the idea of a family unit from the father of her unborn child. But what caused my mouth to hit the floor was to see the countless comments from various other black women under her post, noting that they were in the same exact situation as her. Some women on their second or third pregnancies, some who were first time mothers afraid of the fact that they were heading into single motherhood. To see black women, black queens, potentially risking mortality for dusties and lacking the awareness to understand that not every man is worth putting your body and your life on the line for and through the powerful phenomenon that we call giving birth. It made me realize the hard truth that baby mama culture is the worst viral trend that could have ever plagued black women in the black community. Like this has really become a thing, second nature to us bring a baby into this world and then figure out the rest later. And although many of these situations are different, they all ring bells of similarity in regards to how important it is for black women to make intentional, calculated, and conscious decisions about family planning. But more importantly, who we choose to plan our families with. Baby mama culture is beneath black women, and we deserve more than this. You see, I look at it like the tentacles of an octopus. It has so many different arms. And it's not just one particular area of this culture that is devastating, it's multiple. And I wanna address some of these today. And since I recognize that there is a younger generation of black women that is being blinded by the $20,000 gender reveals that mimic wedding receptions and the glamorization of broken homes, I felt that it was my duty to bring this delicate issue to the table so that it can be properly dissected. Now, the first order of business before we begin to break down. All right, so if you want to see the rest of that video, that is um, made by Wild Heart Wave. Um, she went in. She had a very deep, deep conversation. She was really talking from her soul about the baby culture, the baby mama culture. She put a lot of research into it. And I, I was so amazed about how much I learned from this one video, I've heard of black women having um, issues and stuff like that. And this is not about deterring you from having a baby. It's just that I, I wish that they would say when they say go get a, a, a husband or to go to have a kid, you know, meet somebody who's going to be there for you, who actually truly loves you for you. You know, another thing, too, that I noticed is a lot of people are telling black women to date out of the race. I keep seeing that a lot, to date out of the race. A lot of black women don't have the courage to even do that. Let's have a real conversation. Now, this is why a lot of black women are single, because they don't want to date out of the race. They are afraid to do that, because, you know, they don't want to be a fetish. You know, I've had this conversation a while back on my channel, you know, about being fantasized and being a fetish, you know, you're a black woman to other different races of people. 
other different ages of men. So a lot of women who are black, this is why they're single. This is why I say I hate this conversation. Um, I really don't like talking about this. It's really, it, it's, it's really, it touches me. It gets emotional because I know a lot of women want to be a mother. I know a lot of women want to be married. But they feel like they got to go run and get the baby first before they're married. So what I hear, so when I hear Ebony K. Williams talking about, you know, go get the husband, go get the, you know, baby. It's not easy for a black woman. It's really not. It's not a really easy discussion to have. I mean, this is a very important topic, and it really did touch me. But at the same time, we don't want to push it in that women head to go run and have a baby because we see that this is glamorized, you know? This is glamorized just to go run out and have a baby and then worry about getting married later. But you don't know if you're going to stay with this guy. You know, right now, a lot of people are trying to figure out, is Haley Bailey actually, ma- you know, pregnant? She's not married. Yet again, we have another black woman, young black woman, having a baby. We don't know if she, her and DBG is going to stay together. We have no clue if she's pregnant, allegedly. Allegedly, she's pregnant. But I don't know. I just want to bring this out real quick. Like, I know I've been away from the channel for a while, but I really want to know. What are your thoughts and your views on this conversation? I'm really tired of this conversation. I'm tired of having it. I'm tired of trying to defend myself against this. But, yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comment area. But as for now, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Over city trends, it don't matter.